Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one question that I had today was about things to check for a completely dead laptop. What can be checked to make sure that it is not, you know, really dead and, and maybe nothing can be done or if it's something else? The first thing that you should check for a dead laptop is your adapter, the power adapter that you actually plug to the wall socket. It's extremely important because the power adapters are the first things to go bad often on a laptop. And that means it won't actually give power. It won't charge the battery, which means at some point what happens is that your power adapter, even though your PC is running, you might not notice that you're actually running on a battery. And when the battery dies, your laptop's gonna shut down. What happens is when the battery's dead, what you might notice, and this is one trick to know that maybe your power adapter is no good, is you'll power, you'll see briefly a blinkling light. The light's gonna blink for a few seconds and then nothing else is happening. This is kind of an indication to say, look, I got no power to run. I, it just doesn't work. So the power adapter is the first thing you should look at. And that means take it in your hand when it's plugged in the wall socket. Is it warm? Because all the power adapters will have, will be warm. Will be very, some are very hot while the PC or the laptop's running. But when the laptop's not running, it should still be at least a little bit warm. So check that. If it's not warm, if it's really cold to the touch, there's a big possibility that your power adapter is dead. Now, it might not be totally dead. One of the first things that you should try is unplug it from the wall socket, from the power. Wait a couple of minutes, plug it back in. Why? Because these power adapters have reset circuits. If something went bad, it could fall into a reset state. That means it doesn't work, but when you unplug it from the power, plug it back in, that reset state actually restarts at normal, so the power adapter starts again. It could be just that, but it could be a faulty power adapter that would need to be changed. Of course, you'll have the choice between the original power adapter that your manufacturer gave you, which is much more expensive, or random power adapters that are meant to be used either on, you know, generic that will work on a laptop that you have, or some that have multiple um, endings. They have multiple different plugs that you can put in and voltages and are made to be working with any uh, laptop, any brand. I do recommend buying the original adapter, which is usually much more quality than any other types of clone or generic adapters. But if it all fails, if you can't find one, you can check for generic adapters, but don't pay for the cheapest ones. Some generic adapters are actually good quality. Make sure that the number of watts, which is written, by the way, on the laptop itself in a sticker, matches the watts that your laptop has to make sure that it's actually gonna run properly. A bad adapter can also damage your computer after a certain amount of time. So make sure that it is the best adapter you can buy, not a cheap, $20 one for replacement. But that's the first thing you should look at, especially if your computer gives you a little hint of a little blinking light somewhere when you try to power it on. That means it might actually just have no power to restart. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.